Hi, Tony Palmer here from ESG. We recently tested OS Nexus Quantastore Grid software-defined storage. ESG research reveals that the top three most cited benefits of deploying software-defined storage are lower operational cost, faster deployment, and simplified management. In another survey, storage infrastructure is the most cited area of on-premises infrastructure and operations that IT believes offers an opportunity to significantly streamline or reduce costs. ESG performed hands-on testing of OS Nexus Quantastore grid technology to validate how it can help simplify the deployment, management, monitoring, and health of complex environments. These environments are complex because they generally consist of hardware from many vendors, mixed storage protocols, and virtualized resources. OS Nexus Quantastore is a hyperscale SDS solution that allows organizations to turn commodity hardware into a globally scalable software-defined storage solution with file, block, and object protocol support. OS Nexus leverages the scale-out capabilities of proven open source solutions from Ceph, GlusterFS, and ZFS in conjunction with its own proprietary storage hardware virtualization. This enables OS Nexus to offer organizations storage deployment flexibility from open source technologies, while also removing many of the complexities related to configuration, management, and growth. And because Quantastore supports simultaneous deployments of high performance file, block, and object storage, organizations gain agility to dynamically allocate storage resources to applications with different storage requirements whenever they're needed, wherever they're needed across the globe. We added physical and virtual quanta stored nodes to a storage grid. Next, we configured resources in the storage grid to deploy object storage for Amazon S3 and block or object storage for OpenStack. We created S3 gateways and added users in just five steps. Each step automated dozens or more Ceph commands that are complex, prone to error, or would otherwise require scripting. Next, we added a Quantastore system to a Windows Active Directory domain, created a network share, and shared it out over SMB, altogether in about 90 seconds. We examined the system configuration looking at the detailed view of one of the enclosures to validate hardware support. We found that Quantastore Grid provides deep integration with major server vendors. Finally, we looked at the Configuration Analyzer. Configuration Analyzer automates the analysis typically performed by a complete cross-functional team of experts, helping to identify and remediate issues related to networking, storage, licensing, capacity, security, performance, and compliance. So, why does this matter? Organizations are increasingly aware of the value of the data that they create, acquire, and store. Data created anywhere, in offices and data centers, on mobile devices, by web applications, or through IoT, all contain information that's critical to the success of a business. Each platform might be optimized to run on a particular storage technology, so being able to move data between platforms is also critical. Providing high-performance, cloud-like hyperscale storage services to a globally distributed organization is costly in terms of equipment, complex to plan, and difficult to manage, monitor, and secure. Most organizations understand the economic and operational benefits of deploying software-defined storage solutions. However, choosing the right solution for all use cases can prove difficult. Deploying SDS across distributed sites and on disparate hardware can be complex and introduce challenges around interoperability. OS Nexus Quantastore grid technology greatly reduces the complexity of deploying, managing, and monitoring distributed storage systems and technologies. It also reduces risk to the organization and provides the benefit of automated workflows. So if you're considering deploying hyperscale SDS for a globally distributed organization, ESG suggests at least considering OS Nexus. If you'd like to learn more, please click the link below to download the report.